Hello again from Normandy. Well, the sun's not quite up yet. It's very early in the morning because it's the best time to go and pick rose petals for perfume. This one is Kiff's Gate. I'm not going to use this one today. Although it has a lovely, delicate scent. In fact, I'm going to make quite a few different rose petal ones, but today I'm going to use the oldest known cultivated rose, Rosa Gallica officinalis. It's also called the Apothecary Rose, and it's the Red Rose of Lancaster as well, so it's one of the roses from the War of the Roses. It is highly perfumed, and it's excellent for use in perfumes. Also, I use it to cook as well. My apologies for the nearest thing we get to a rush hour here. With the very heavy rain, some of the petals have actually been knocked off the flower heads, but we can still use them. Otherwise, I just pull the heads directly off and I'll separate them once we get back in the house. These have been faded by the sunlight from yesterday. It's been really, really hot. That's why I've got to get these because otherwise Sadly, they're going to be over. But there are more buds coming underneath, as you can see. It's a very prolific rose. I've been building up this rose garden for 20 years, so we have a great deal of choice in roses. I tend to use the redder, pinker and purple roses because they often have the greater perfume, but they also have the colour, which I, I think looks really beautiful in rose perfume. This is a really simple recipe. You just remove the petals, put them in the jar. What I have got, I've got a coffee plunger from, I think it's called a French press, I call it cafetier here, and I'm going to press them down well once I've got as many as possible in the jar. The smell absolutely incredible. I wish we were able to send you this across the web. It's just almost overpowering, which is good. Well, the colour is looking really good. It's a beautiful, rich, deep, almost ruby red. I'm now going to try it on my skin. Obviously, we've got to wait for the vodka to evaporate and then we'll see what the true scent is. Well, I'm getting rose, but I'm also getting vodka as well. It's, it's delicate, but it's, it's got that, a rich smell that goes with the colour. So I'm feeling very pleased about this. So I'm expecting to keep it on the petals for another four weeks. What I might do, because I've still got some of these rose petals left, I might put some more in. In the meantime, I'm ordering some jojoba oil and I'm going to make some perfumes with that as well. So there'll be alcohol perfumes and also ones in oil. And the next one I'm going to make will be honeysuckle. So we'll see how that goes. Look forward to seeing you again and I hope you've enjoyed this.